What's going on you guys? Peplatypus here and now it's time to talk about Fairy Tale Chapter 445. There was a translation out a couple days ago or like a day ago but I wasn't sure if it was like a good translation because I read it and I thought Mak Makarov was saying some kind of weird... his dialogue just seemed kind of stupid to me. I was like Makarov's not that stupid is he? And uh, there was like a spelling error here and there so I was like okay I'm gonna wait till a better translation comes out. I read this translation and Makarov's just as stupid but I'll get into that in a second. Uh, as far as what happens in this chapter, we meet a few more of the uh, Spriggan Twelve. We see Zareph a little bit, he talks to them, he talks to Makarov, which you'd think would be really important, but nothing really gets established that much, it's really not that big of a conversation. And then he just says there's going to be an actual Dragon King's festival with humans, Black Wizard, and dragons, and he'll exterminate everybody. And we find out that... Lumen Hastor is called Fairy Heart, because, you know, the one true magic has to be love. Ugh, fucking Hiromashima. Anyways, that's pretty much everything that happens, though. It's really, really bare bones, uh, even for a manga chapter. It's really not a lot of story progression at all, which really disappointed me. Uh, they rescue Makarov, which is good, but, you know, that was pretty good. But really, the story progression is decent at best. So, that's kind of uh, underwhelming. The art's good, as always. Uh, Hiro Majima has really good art. Not my favorite art style, but it is uh, good art. And the pace of the chapter was fairly good, too. It didn't, like, linger on any... You know, I, I guess I could describe it as, like, devoting too many panels to one scene, I guess, would be how I describe slow pacing in a manga. Like, a character's getting introduced, and you have, like, two pages dedicated to their introduction, or three pages dedicated to their introduction, or something like that, or an attack's being performed and you dedicate, like, multiple pages to it. It's like, no, that's too slow, you're wasting time, you know what I mean? Because it's hard to talk about the pacing in a chapter, but I guess that's kind of an explanation. So, the pace of the chapter was fine, the art was great, and the uh, progression was decent at best. So, I don't know, that's the technicals. I guess to talk about what actually happened, the Spriggan 12 dudes, I mean, there was this chick, I forget her name, um, she seemed okay, I can't really get a grasp on her personality, she did stuff about wind, I don't know, that was weird, that was weird in the other translation I read too, I was hoping this would be better, the whole spring wind, wind of death bullshit, that was whatever dialogue, but I don't know, she looks fine, she's kind of standard, the other guy looks really ridiculous, but he's okay, I guess, I've seen weirder, but uh, he's named, I believe his name was Azir, You've been playing, uh, you've been playing some League, Mashima? You've been playing some League of Legends, Azir? I'm just, I'm just saying. Because he's had, you know, some uh, video gamey references in some of his past arcs. But whatever, I digress. Uh, there was a dude named August who looks exactly like Hades. That was, like, he looks exactly, like, exactly like Hades with different hair. So that was kind of weird. But he was okay, and it doesn't matter that much. It's sometimes you have characters that look the same. If you guys saw my art style for my own manga series, you'd say, you motherfucking hypocrite, because my art style has a lot of characters that look the same. But whatever, I digress on that as well. So they're there, don't know their abilities, don't really know too much about their personalities. But uh, the, the August dude mentions, like, oh, this is going to be the final battle. He says, he calls it Ragnarok, because you can't just say final battle, that's too self-explanatory. He calls it Ragnarok, the final battle. And Zareph is there, and he's like, oh, it's going to be the Dragon King's Festival. He talks to Makarov. Uh, we find out that that one old guy Makarov was with, his name is Yajil. Really? Yajil? Majima. Yajil? Really? Yajil. You switched one letter. I'm done. Anyways, well, it might not be the accurate translation. We don't know until, like, the official volumes come out. But for now, his name is Yajil, and that's kind of lazy. So, yeah, but not really a big criticism. Just a nitpick. So they, they talk, and... Like, Makarov's like the stupidest person. He's like, are you Spriggan or are you Zareph? And it's like, what the fuck kind of question is that? And he's like, I'm both. And then he's like, okay, so you want Fairy Heart and to destroy Fairy Hill or whatever, Luminous Store, because you're Zareph. And it's like, no shit, he's Zareph. Like, what are you talking about, Makarov? And then he's like, yeah, I'm going to start up this big thing with the Dragon King's Festival. And he's like, oh, so you intend to start a war? And it's like, he just fucking said he wanted to start a war. And then he says, no, I want to start an extermination. Same fucking thing, whatever. Makarov was just asking stupid questions. And it was like the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. And I thought it was the old, I thought it was the bad translation. But no, it's the same in both translations. So I don't know, Makarov is uh, senile, I guess. I don't fucking know. And he's about to die for the 
17,552nd time he gets rescued by somebody or saved by something. And yeah, Mest shows up, takes him out. Uh, well, not takes him out, but takes him out of there. He reunites with everybody. They say Zareff was there. Natsu's like, Zareff! And he's like, you're here, Natsu. And it's all like hype and stuff, even though it'll probably just be a friendship punch that wins. But they didn't talk about anything interesting. Mock Rob and him. Uh, you know, we kind of get like, oh, Zareff, I made this country. It grew bigger. I was kind of wanting to fight Acnologia with its power. Why do you have goals if you want to get killed? Like, you made all those demons to get killed. You made Natsu to get killed. So why do you have these goals? Why do you want to, like, beat Acnologia? Why do you want a uh, fairy heart? Why, like, I don't understand why you'd have goals if all you want to do is die. So that's weird to me. I mean, maybe fairy heart's required to unlock end in Natsu. I don't know why it would. Uh, maybe it's just because it's Mavis-related, because I think they know each other. Because I'm not caught up on Fairy Tales Zero, but I believe they know each other. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> It was not an interesting conversation to me. Uh, the story progression was pretty lacking, but I'd probably give the chapter around like a 6.5, because, I mean, other things in the chapter obviously lifted it up quite a bit, like getting introduced to those characters, them actually rescuing Makarov. I mean, that's the main goal, and they've achieved it for now, so that's pretty big. So I'd probably give the chapter like a 6.5. It's a decent chapter of fairy tale. I think Makarov was just saying some really dumb shit. Like, on an, on an enjoyment level, it was like, like a 5, but... Objectively, it's like a, you know, 6.5. So I'll leave it at that. It was, you know, it was okay. Fairy Tale is okay as far as I've, you know, started reviewing it. Hopefully it can stay that way, but I feel like it's going to get dumb at some point. But we'll see what happens. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Tell me what you guys thought of this Fairy Tale chapter in the comments section below. Follow me on Instagram. That would be cool. Uh, rate this video. Give it a thumbs up. That would be awesome. Subscribe if you haven't already or if you like what you've seen here, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.